Hey, what's up? What's going on, everybody? So we are now talking about Bad Girls Club Season 17. <laughs> that don't even sound natural. Like, they don't have so many seasons. Season 17, Episode 5, right? And shout out to Danny Salmeron, who said he loves my reviews. Right back at ya. And Greg Blanchard, once again, who was like, seven is so extra and just wants to turn up, like, why does she have an emotional breakdown over Kiki wanting drama, then changing her mind? I can see it being annoyed, but breakdown over it? Haha, ha, shake my head. I hear you. And I see what you're saying, but I still like her so far. She, she kind of, sometimes she be irking me, though. But let's talk about this episode. So Susan, she had to go home like we saw last week. You know, she had some kind of like episode where demons like totally possessed her freaking body and her mind and she was just gone like she was ready to kill off the girl and i was just like "Ooh, girl you about to get a charge i think you need to put that pen that 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 thing down honey especially because you're on tv everybody gonna see you you can't even deny it you can't even say it wasn't me because everybody gonna see you so the ladies they all go to venus beach and Kiana, she wasn't really feeling it, but she still went because she wanted to show support. She wanted to do what the other girls wanted to do as well. They go to the bar, I guess, after, and Sayora, she was doing her normal slut bag, you know, routine. <laughs> I used to say that with a straight face, right? Like, she was just being a normal thought. But uh, Kiara wasn't really feeling it. She's just like, well, Kiara and Kiana weren't really feeling it. Kiana's just like... Why? Like, we take care of the elderly. We don't F them. Like, that's not what we do. So what are you doing? And uh, Kiana was just, I guess she was just annoyed that she even was being the way she is. I mean, if she's a flirtatious, flirtatious kind of person, that's on her. But it was kind of weird to see that the dude that she was talking to was like, as she referred to the age of her mom. She was always talking about, oh, he's muscular and he looks good. Where? <laughs> looking real good too i'm like man my glasses are a little dirty or something let me wipe these off but no he was still not looking like no hot shot that she needed to be thirsty over i guess she's just like want somebody from somewhere and she'll kind of take almost anybody right about now as long as they look a little chocolatey because that's what it looked like she likes from the two that we've seen so far so more of the ladies, they're working now on their bucket list. Seven, she wants to be a DJ. So she's going to be meeting up with this DJ dude. And she did eventually meet up with him and had like a nice session. And um, who else? Oh, DeShayla. She wants to be a designer. So on the board, it says something about seamstress. So she ends up meeting up with one of Kiara's friends who is a designer. So that was pretty cool that it, like I said before, like it's pretty cool that they're having them really like branding now and trying to do something that they always wanted to do and kind of live out their dreams because in the past we haven't really seen that. Like they've tried to do a lot of different things I've seen along the way and get creative with Bad Girls Club. But I think this is like something they should have did a long time ago, which is let these girls actually have a real life brand as opposed to just send them out into the world and just go fend for yourself Try to do hostings and see how you can make money. Maybe, just maybe, if people liked you enough or remember you, you might get a spinoff show on Oxygen, but that's not guaranteed, you know? So that's pretty cool that, that, that they really doing that. And I'll probably continue to say that throughout the episodes that we see. So Kiara, she ends up being pulled out of the car from, with the by security because her and Kiana get into it once again when they was coming back home. And I'm just like... Girl, how y'all go from besties to enemies so fast? Like, I just, to be honest with y'all, I just feel like Kiara really starts a lot. Because she gets annoyed over, like, every little thing. So, and um, Kiana, she was the one who kind of addressed it when she saw the way that Kiara was acting. She, she mentioned it when they got back in the car. Because, you know, liquor is all in your system. So, you know, that's the truth, Alexa. You want to say how you feel. <laughs> Because I know I say how I feel. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. And that's just kind of what happened. And it kind of made them, like, clash real quick. And I think um, Kiara ended up throwing the headband that she borrowed from Kiana at her. So that's why they pulled it out of the car, too. 
So when they get back, the new girl's photo is up. And Fran Francesca, she wasn't really feeling it because she's all like, she's the only blonde girl. She doesn't really want the competition because if somebody has the same attributes as you, a lot of times, especially if they act like you, it's like, unless you do something outstanding or truly rememberable, me rememberable, memorable, no one's going to really remember your name or remember who you are. Because I know half of these girls from past seasons, you ask me about them, I'm just like, who? From what season? Nah, I don't remember her. Or it'd be like, I have to really go back into the vaults in the back of my head and just kind of like think about it. So it's like, eh, I don't know. So I think that's what she was kind of feeling too. She was kind of feeling jealous, like, dang, this girl's blonde, she's white. <sighs> she got some tattoos on her body. She gonna try to take my shine. But it wasn't really like that once the girl actually came in, which we're gonna talk about soon. So Seven, she's like, Kiara's just like kind of being petty and she's like doing too much. But I'm like... You saying this, but at the end of the day, you was just doing the same thing, trying to fight Kiana not too long ago. I mean, yes, y'all came up with this pact or this truce or whatever, but you was just doing the same thing. So how you want to shun her because she's getting upset and, and acting a fool? Like, you was just doing the same thing. I feel like if you just did the same thing, how dare you <laughs> tell somebody else what not to do? You know what I mean? Like, girl, get your life. Brianna, she's from Las Vegas, and she seems like a turn-up girl. Like, she seems like she's a really fun kind of person, but it's like, don't mess with me. You know, one of those types of people. And she says that she used to be a big girl back in the days, but she gained confidence because she lost a lot of weight dancing. She's a stripper, a dancer. And um, that's why she feels like she's a bad girl. And she said that she won't really, like, start with anybody, but... If they come for her, she gonna do what she got to do. And that's just it. Uh, I wasn't really too sure about her. But, like, later on, I feel like she did start to show her true colors and show how she really is. So, as soon as she gets there, Kiara is trying to tell her all these negative things and how she fought all the girls from the other team, the other little clique that they got going on. And how she was telling her about how Francesca felt some type of way about her. Like, tell her all these things that the girl... It's almost like what she was pretty much trying to do is get an alliance with her and put her on their side because she just wants she wants to have that crew be, I guess, a dominant crew or something. She just don't want anybody to like them. And it's just so stupid. But one thing I like about Brianna is that she's like, she'll sit there and talk with you or whatever. She'll listen to what you got to say. But she makes her own judgments at the end of the day. She's like, you know what, I'm not going to let her whatever she says, her negativity, get to me. I'm going to make my own decisions. And depending on how they treat me is how I'm going to go forward. And that's just how it is. So I really, I, I like people that have that type of mentality as opposed to, all right, girl, I'm going to watch my back because I see what you're talking about. I ain't going to be cool with them because you ain't cool with them. You know, like, you don't even know them. You've never had any experience with them. No one's ever done anything to you as yet. But honey, child, do y'all see the, the end part where they were showing all the fights that she done had? It looked like she done had a fight with all of them. But I, we don't really know. We're going to pretend like we don't know. <laughs> you know my nose is, like, itching like crazy today. Y'all should be going like this or like this. I think my allergies are acting up or whatever. So, um... What happened after that? They all go to the strip club, and then Kiara, once again, she have a screw-up face, like, because she was tight. I mean, for this part, I kind of get it, because if you got a little VIP section, and from what I heard, or what one of you guys told me when I used to do Bad Girls Club before, somebody was like, they get stipends or something like that, and they got to use that money to buy the bottles and things like that. I mean, I don't know how valid that is, but if that's the case... I don't want some random Joes coming in and taking the money that I that I put out there for my bottles and stuff like that. They was going in and out of the, the little section, like the bar, barber shop. That was the first time they went to the club. And then the second time they went was with the new girl. That's when they went to the strip club. So when they went to the strip club, once again, Kiana was tight because she asked everybody to give her money for tips. And I guess Sayori gave her like $15. And then... Uh, Kiana didn't give her anything at all So she's like 
how they come into the club and they not giving nothing like that makes us look bad in my city like it's not even that serious nobody even knows you <laughs> I, I i i doubt anybody really knows you like that i mean maybe now because you're on tv they'll probably know you a little something something but don't don't do it like you know what i mean so she was just like getting all tight about that and she didn't even leave it there like at the club like okay but she also took it back home and was arguing and talking to Deshayla about it. Like, oh, how they ain't give no money. We at the strip club in my city. Like, first of all, me, myself, I know I barely give any money. I mean, I know I say a job and everything, but who has money to be just going like this? I mean, I personally don't. <laughs> I wish somebody would give me tips at my job, you know what I mean? But, like, nah, I see dudes giving enough money that I don't have to give hundreds of dollars I give you a couple dollars, maybe three, four dollars, you know, and call it a night, you know, or I'll keep one dollar and give one dollar to each chick that does a good job. <laughs> Yo, when I tell you I'm cheap, I don't need to get the strip club because I'm super duper cheap, like for real, for real. So anyways, so she was tired about that. They come back home. She's still talking about it. So Kiana hears her. She's like, if you got something to say, say what you got to say to me. And they start arguing there again. And I'm just like, go oh, snap. Kiana bossing up real quick. She's going up to her. And then Kiana, Kiara's talking about she hates her guts. And I'm like, you hate her guts? Like, that's a real. Like, that's like deep to the core. You know what I mean? Like, that's not even just, I don't like you. I don't want to be around you. That's, I hate you to, yo, your guts, you know? <laughs> I don't know, like, it's, for some reason, it just sounds even worse to me. And that's pretty much what she was saying. I'm like, y'all was just mad cool the other day, buddy, buddy, like, talking all this. She's from, she's from Brooklyn. I'm from Compton. We just like this. Like, we're like sisters. You know, like, just mad close. That's why I don't be uh, messing with people like that, or especially new friends. You don't know new friends. The day ones only because... That's the kind of stuff you got to deal with. So now it's bedtime and Kiara is talking mad loud. I think it was to, to, to Shayla and Brianna was just like, can you keep it down? We're trying to go to sleep. So Kiara takes it upon herself to be super queen petty, start stomping around the house, making mad noise. And then when she comes back and Brianna addresses her, She's just like, no, that's not... She didn't do it because she was trying to make noise. She was like, you know, why would you do that? She was like... And she told her something about she's the leader. Like, she needs to stop because other people's following her. Something along those lines. And Seven started to get offended. Seven wanted to jump in, talk about... She was just, like, listening. And she started talking, saying what she had to say. So, Brianna, I was like, oh, snap. She sucked her real quick because she was like... I said what I had to say, and that's it, and now I'm going to go smoke. And then she, like, did the Kanye, drops the mic, and went out and started smoking outside. And I was like, wow, okay. But it didn't end there. Of course not. That would have been too easy. Seven had to come and address her and let her know that she's not a follower. And um, she, when she wants to say something to Kiara, just keep it there because it is not like that. She does what she wants to do when she wants to do it. And... Um, then they they did separate, but I just kind of felt like right there you could tell that both of them have strong personalities and both of them wanted to kind of have the last word. I mean, I've had those moments where I had an argument with somebody and I just want them to shut up because if they don't shut up, it keeps me going and going and going and it makes me get anxiety and I just feel like I just want to hit somebody <laughs> because I'm just like, why are you going to keep on going if you see that I'm already upset? Like, it just... It just puts this fire into me. It's like it's just, you took a fireball and you just went, you know, and I'm like, you know, and I just start like going off. That's how it is. And I could see that kind of happening with both of them where it was like each of them was saying something and somebody was saying something else. Somebody said something else. It was just kind of like piggybacking off of each other, which was kind of dumb. But that was pretty much the episode. It was, I mean, it wasn't amazing, but it was pretty good. It looks like it's going to get real turned up real soon. So, guys, definitely be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Stick around and all that good stuff. And stay fabulous, live free, and soar limitless. I'll see you in the next one. Laters.